All right, welcome back everyone, it's Noha here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And this is showing you guys how to get the Legendary Hyperion Shield exclusive to the Designer's Cut DLC, the Gas Mask. Red text is fight until the end, until your last breath. Fight for your lifetime is increased by 50%, plus 15% chance to absorb bullets as ammo, plus 5% max health per second while shields are full. Wind damage has a 15% chance to drop a booster that restores 8% of shields. Capacity is 44,767. Recharge delay is 4.6. Recharge rate is 5,928. This one here grants uh, corrosive resistance, and every one you get will always grant corrosive resistance. Now, you have to go into arms race in order to get this shield to drop. You can get it from the chest right there near the left side. You can actually get it from two chests. It's the one with the Madcap. It's right below the Hot Spring Best Car chest, right above the Holy Grail and the Death Rattle chest. Now, you can also get it as a World Drop within Arms Race and from the final boss. As you can see here, I got mine as a World Drop from just a random enemy. Alright, so basically, literally all this shield does is it grants you plus 50% fight for your lifetime. Here is my fight for my lifetime, as you can see right there, without the shield on. Here's fight, my fight for my lifetime with it on. And as you can see, it is going down slower. So you're going to get more fight for your lifetime whenever you have this shield equipped. All the other stuff is just random. You can get it to roll on the shield or you can't. The only thing that is always on this shield is the plus 50% fight for your lifetime. And with that being the case, uh, I mean, it's not really that good of an effect in my opinion. And that effect alone is going to keep this shield from really being that useful, in my opinion. I mean, the recharge rate and delay is pretty middle of the road, in my personal opinion, for my preferences. Uh, I don't think this thing is better than the old god, the stop gap, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the top shields in the game are, you know, they're the top shields in the game for a reason, because they have really good effects, and they have really good recharge rate and stuff like that. I just don't think this is one of them. I mean, the only thing this is giving you is plus 50% fight for your lifetime. I mean, you might have a build that this weapon works really well in or something like that, but I can't think of one. But if you do have one, feel free to leave it in the comments. I just don't feel like plus 50% fight for your lifetime is really that useful in my personal opinion. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.